Following an announcement by the Russian Defense Ministry on November 9 that a new air defense system, the S-550, was under development, new details regarding the weapon system have been announced. Speaking to the RIA Novosti news agency, sources in the defense industry stated that the S-550 would become the world's first mobile special operation missile defense system capable of effectively destroying intercontinental range ballistic missiles and would be a more specialized derivative of the S-500 Prometheus. The S-550's capabilities to intercept warheads of enemy ballistic missiles, mainly, intercontinental ones, as well as space attack weapons will be by an order greater than the capabilities of the S-400 and the S-500, as well as those of the U.S. thought and Aegis air defenses fitted with the 3M3 Block I of missiles, one source was quoted as stating. Another added, the development of a new system is currently at an advanced stage. The first images of launchers associated with the S-500 were released in July, and missiles for the system entered production the following month. Advanced features including its very high degree of situational awareness, its 600 km engagement range, its ability to intercept hypersonic, and space targets including satellites and ICBMs. and its ability to network with older air defense systems such as S-400s to maximize situational awareness. The much larger missiles carried by the S-500 compared to the S-400 mean that each launcher only carries two missiles rather than four. The S-550 is expected to use the same missile launcher configuration. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu casually dropped a bombshell when he mentioned during a press conference on November 9 that the head of state placed special emphasis on the importance of advancing the development of domestic air and missile defense systems and the supply of S-350, S-500 and S-550 to the armed forces. While the medium-range S-350 and S-500 missiles were familiar, this was the first mention of a notional S-550 system. The Russian military is preparing to induct the S-500 Promity Promos, air defense systems in the 2020s after years of delay. Some experts initially speculated that the S-550 was a shorter-range spin-off of the S-500, just as the S-350 was a medium-range missile complementing longer-range S-300 and S-400 systems. Russia's TASS state news agency also recalled an S-550 mobile short-range anti-ballistic missile ABM, system developed between 1981-1988, which never entered service. However, Sergei Kemizov subsequently told reporters at the Dubai Airshow the S-550 would be designed to detect and intercept ballistic missiles at a greater distance than the S-500 and that the physical components have already been created. Now the consensus is that S-550 would be a mobile system specialized in strategic defense, defending against intercontinental range ballistic missiles ICBMs, that arc high into space before raining nuclear destruction at up to 20 times the speed of sound. Russian sources also emphasize a space attack or space defense role which besides referring to kinetic anti-satellite missions might also include interception of spacecraft in low Earth orbit like the US military's X-37B unlike the S-500, there reportedly aren't plans for a naval variant. Curiously, the S-500 was already generally understood to offer significantly improved ballistic missile defense, Bermudian dollars, capability using its 77N6N series missile, estimated by US intelligence, to be effective against intermediate range missiles, and of partial effectiveness versus ICBMs.
but when later interviewed by TASS, military expert Mitry Ulitovkin said he presumed it would become an extra element of the Promedy system. It was earlier announced that this system would be able to shoot down both ballistic nuclear warheads and low-orbit satellites. Judging by everything, the military has made a decision to divide these functions between the two systems, the multitask option is not always good for a combat system. In a similar vein, an anonymous source told RIA Novosti the S-550 was version of the S-500 air defense system and will specialize in missile and space defense tasks. These statements, which are by no means definitive, could mean the S-550 is simply the S-500's missile defense capability spun off and perhaps improved to be more reliable against ICBMs. It's unclear if that means the basic S-500 will therefore end up less capable at missile defense than initially promised, or if the S-550 will end up being substantially more effective against ICBMs than was expected of the S-500. Ria Novosti's sources also boast that the S-550 is the first road mobile system capable of reliably killing ICBMs, also claiming it could go an order of magnitude higher than US thought and Aegis with SM-3 Block LLB missiles. Both cited US systems are mobile, on truck or ship, but are aimed at defending against short to intermediate range missiles that don't fly as high or as fast, though they do possess some modest anti-ICBM capability. This is particularly true of the SM-3 Block IIA, which successfully shot down an ICBM in a test in November 2020, and reportedly has a maximum reachable altitude of 1,460 miles. The official, quoted by Aria, does not mention the United States silo-based ground-based missile midcourse GMD, system, designed for mid-course intercepts of ICBMs. Likely the S-550 is expected to occupy a middle ground between the SM-3 Block II and GMD, perhaps with decent anti-ICBM capability, but out to a more limited range.